And so I thought, shoot, I'll give these guys a try. A German saw, get a German bar and chain. And so there she is, guys, all mounted up. So you basically gotta take the handlebar and feed the bar and chain through it. Let's take it and see if she'll cut some wood. It finally came in the mail. My sagging Spetsy bar and chain for the Steel S10. So yeah, it came packaged nicely, and then it comes in this fancy box. I already took it out. And then they give you two chains. It's 404 chain. I already got one on there. I'm sort of jumping ahead. But yeah, those guys are cool. Send me a bunch of stickers. Some nice pins. And the reason I got this bar and chain was the S10 has sort of an oddball um, pattern, mounting pattern. It's very, very wide. And so these guys in Germany actually had a nice bar and chain for the old S10. She's right over there. And so I thought, shoot, I'll give these guys a try. A German saw, get a German bar and chain. And it was only like 85 bucks with free shipping. I mean, it took a while. It was like two weeks, I think. But yeah, that's cool. And I send you some directions and stuff. Thank you for choosing. And I guess they got them on eBay, Amazon. But yeah, really reasonably priced. And it looks like quality stuff. So let's put it on the saw, see what it looks like. So there she is, guys, all mounted up. And yeah, these steel, these old steel S10 bars are, uh, see the uh, slot is really wide. It's like even wider than the large mount steel stuff. So these guys actually have um, sprocket tip bar and chains that fit these. So, so yeah, there it is. Yeah, and the other thing on these steels, these old ones, it's weird. It has this little pin that sticks out. And that's what drives the oil pump. The, the oil pump and the tank and everything are in the side cover. So yeah, isn't that just the weirdest thing? And so basically it's just that pin sticking out. And so when you put it on there, you basically can't screw it up because it, it has to land somewhere in there. And even if it hits that little bar, it'll just move it a little bit. So I guess that's sort of their foolproof way of basically lining it up. And then that little pin just comes around and catches that crossbar and turns it. Isn't that crazy? It's dirty. I actually tried this out. I'm doing this video backwards. I've already, I've already tested it, but I thought I'd show you. Because, yeah, these steel bar covers are just so crazy. Let me set up the camera. I'll show you how it goes on. Okay, so yeah, this is sort of a funky design on these things. So here's your side cover and the handlebar. So you basically got to take the handlebar and feed the bar and chain through it. And then you mount this bad boy up in here. Like that. washers and of course I have to get my fancy acorn nuts but yeah this longer barn chain looks so much better they always have those stubby barn chains on these and I realize it's probably overkill but it looks nice and then these seals these s10s and the 08s or the uh, yeah the 08 s's they have another screw back here that you have to put in that sort of holds the uh, oil tank and clutch cover and everything on. A little assistance there. Let me tension that up just a little more since I used it once. I don't want to get it too tight. But yeah, and it's just enough to watch. I almost went too long. I probably should have got a 24 inch bar. This is a, I probably should have got a 20 inch. 
but this 24 inch looks nice. But it just barely balances itself, see? But it doesn't fall on its face. Just barely balances. Nice. Yeah, so look at that thing. So yeah, 85 bucks. I came with two chains. And yeah, all those stickers and pins. I like that kind of stuff. That's cool. This is not a paid endorsement. Okay, now that we got her all rigged up, let's take it and see if she'll cut some wood. I still got all my echoes lined up. I've been trying to do an echo chainsaw collection video for a couple of weeks now, and I haven't got to it yet, so... I'm getting there, I'm getting there. There it is, guys. Doesn't that look bitchin'? And those S10s, you always see them with little short bar and chains on them. I think the proportions are a lot nicer on this one. It might be a little overkill. 24 inch bar, but I think the proportions are right. That looks nice. That's what she needed. And then that fucking spike that I modified, it's actually for an 070 or an 090, but I just cut the bottom tooth off. And she fits. Okay guys, here she is, the S10. Ooh, she's oiling good. <laughs> But yeah, I got my cool bar and chain on it. So let's see if she cuts. I think I got her tuned pretty good. I never did put a carb kit in it. And it's a little cold blooded because of that. So I had to warm it up, but she should be okay now. Let's try it out. Too bad for an old girl. She ain't as fast as these newfangled saws, but she holds her own, especially with that 24 inch bar. Nice. It looks cool doing it too. Okay, later guys. Thanks for watching.